right, so we just had a little bit of excitement. Really bad excitement. Still shaking. We were doing a live video on Kaylee's phone. Looked out the window, just a chance look out the window, and three horses booking it up towards the road. It's a busy highway. We were, we all freaked out. We ran down, Sam went after the horses. Another car came and tried to help block off the road. They stayed on the side of the road, thank God. Ran over to the next field and booked it into the field. Then went way to the back of the field. And we got them all. Going down now to see what's, ha what's wrong with any of them. They, they broke out of the field. I wonder why I put our horses in when it's rainy. When it's rainy, our horses get wild. That's when things get crazy. When things get crazy, Haley, how was it? Terrifying. <laughs> much in my life. <laughs> Kaylee's really good. Gabby and Kaylee are really good. Actually, everybody's good in chaos except for me. I climbed a barbed wire fence, cut my arm. Oh my gosh. The halter got stuck on like the barbed wire, so it yanked me back, so I fell back onto it oh and scratched my myself. All right, who was the leader? Sam went through the fence because he was probably getting beat up. He has a cut on his leg and it's sensitive when you touch it. He keeps yeah, it so up. Finn, Finn's yeah. out of commission. So something happened, they were running. Did anyone want to bring their phone? No. No, why? Oh, good lord. Don't touch it, he doesn't like it. Yeah, well it's sliced. I mean, it's not stitches sliced. No, it just needs we to gotta clean it, so. It. Yeah, see, he must have slid. Yeah. Hey, look at his heart. He went through the fence because he has a lot of brand new cuts. Yeah, so something happened. Uh, the guy that came and blocked the road off for us, he said that he, he saw, he said that he saw a horse in the back, a brown one, biting all their butts to get them moving up the, the hill. Storm. So it was Storm pushing them up the hill. So okay, guys. Why though? Like, look at that. Because he's Storm. Look at him, he's just heaving. I know. I mean, they were running. I'm not shaking as much anymore. Oh, I'm shaking. Still shaking. Oh, we are just Are screaming. we still live? I don't know. We might be still live. I picked it up and it looked like nobody, it wasn't moving. I think it died. I think we might still be live. Or if you were in our live and you heard sque swearing, screaming, My and first swearing. It's the scream run, get the camera. No, I didn't say get the camera. No. You scream and then you ran, run to get the camera. I didn't go and get the camera. I went to get our horses. You were like, I said I go to the back of the house. I was like, <laughs> I was looking for my shoes. <laughs> I was just like, we're Here's gonna the thing show. that you guys well, don't know about me. I can't see anything bad happen. If I see it happen, like I can't see it. I'll, I have to go. Like I can't look. I, I was praying you that were they like would... running the other way, like crying. I thought. Like, yeah, running the other way, crying. That is exactly what I do. Those two are like, why are we in here? And it's like the dogs were. Home. The dogs were out running. The dogs were going on the road. Let's see if there's anything hurt on this boy. I know it was all your fault, and you just earned yourself some time in isolation. I heard you say we need halters and leader. I'm like. I know, and you guys. So all, I didn't see Gabby. Gabby disappeared. Gabby just disappeared. She booked it, and I, the next thing I know, she's over in the next field. How did she know they were in the next field? She followed them. But she was down at the barn, so she must have went. She didn't come to the barn, though. So I was so. Confused. She didn't go to the barn, just you and Sophie. So she followed them and went right in that. Oh, I bet you they were shaking in their boots. That's probably why they went in the field. Gabby probably saved the day. How are you, buddy? He's soaked in sweat. Soaked. He's thirsty. Did yeah. Him Let him cool out for a minute I, before I you give him a drink. Nervous for the tornado. So, yeah, troublemaker. So a couple days ago, Sophie came to me and she said, Mom, I had a dream. What was your dream about Chino? That he lost a shoe. We were in like a new arena and stuff and he was limping so bad and his foot was swollen, like his hoof. Was swollen? Mm -hmm. And he lost a shoe? Mm -hmm. How, I don't did understand. He, At least it's not on the foot that he's laying in. It, did he pull a shoe? Yeah. For sure? This one. You walked into the pile. Come with me. Yeah, no shoe on that foot. I was walking. I was like, um, that looks like there's no metal there. Um, At least it's not on the one that he's laying in. <laughs> there, there are. Okay, uh, we have to go feed them. Well, they're really huffing and puffing. Should we walk them around? Probably in the back. 
You're locked in isolation now, dude. Don't even try and be nice to me. Like, why though? Like, if you get out, if you're a horse and you get out, why run up to the road instead of run to the like big huge grass Are you pile? Screaming? Oh, I was screaming. Okay. So what? What was your point of view, Gabby? Huh? What was your point of view? What happened? I wouldn't feed them yet. They're huffing and puffing. They can eat grain. They just can't drink. Oh, okay. I would wait a few minutes though. They need for their stomachs to settle down to drink, or else they'll colic. Let them calm down while they're eating grain. Oh, I love. still has his on. Okay, so what, what did you see? You went running out the door behind Dad. Oh, as soon as I stopped running on the hill, I could not feel my knees or arms. <laughs> I felt like I was gonna faint because I couldn't feel them because I ran too much. <laughs> I had an asthma attack. I couldn't even breathe. I couldn't breathe that time. So walking. were they running down the side of the road? Yeah. They were on the right side, so they were fantastic. Who was in the front? I think it was Storm, then Chino, then Finn. Yeah. Look nice, Ben What? Chino didn't look lame at all, even when he did tight turns. Look nice, Ben Chino. Not on the road. Chino wasn't lame when he did tight turns on the grass. You know how horses are lame when you ride them. Then when they break free, they're like, oh my goodness. Yeah, there has been question if he's been like just <laughs> acting off because of. Okay, now let's go look on the road for shoes. All right, let's go look or for the look shoe. <laughs> Kaylee's like, go for it, sister. I'm just a visitor here. <laughs> I'll go with you. Somebody ran into the fence and knocked it down. We're looking for the shoe. Guess is that it didn't come off. Look, you can see their footprints, their hoof prints. You see them? They went all the way up along the side of the road. Oh. My guess is that they that came off in the grass. The grass is all soft and squishy now because of the rain. They said there was going to be a tornado tonight. There was a tornado. Tornado of horses. Oh man. That is why I want to move you guys. Like I do not love being this close to the road. I'm not going to lie. I'm proud of them for staying on the ground, on the grass, on the gravel. Follow the girls. Here I am talking on the road, walking on the side of the road. Talking into the camera, cars going by. One thing about Gabby though, she takes charge. And she should be a police officer, I'm telling you. Like, oh man. This is where they took off. They ran to here. You can see their footprints stop. There's no more. And then whoosh, up here. I do not like walking in this field. So there's our farm. And the way down there, boy, those trees is where the girl, where we grabbed them. Oh, so basically, right next door, that's where they ran. Which honestly is no big deal, except that they went on the road. Oh my god. Gosh. Look at the, look at the nighttime sky. I'm never leaving them out again. Ever. No more nighttime. Imagine this had happened at night. We would have lost our horses. We would have woke up in the morning, our horses would have been gone. Probably still sitting in this field eating all night, but it would have been even worse. I don't know what's worse, seeing them running on the road or just knowing they did it. Do I see it? The rainbow? That's a sign from Stella. Like, there will be no horses crossing the rainbow bridge on my watch. Sam said Chino looked beautiful. He looked gorgeous just flying up the road. Not a lame step, he said. You can see over here where they got fighting at the gate. So all they did was push through the gate. Like nothing's down. Nothing's broken. They just pushed through the gate because they got fighting. Man. And I'm worried that they're gonna have like this memory like whoa remember that night we pushed past the gate and we live and we were living it up in the lap of luxury running down the road <laughs> like that's what you don't understand like why not get out and then go there and eat the grass why not go down that road I think they come up there because that's where we are I think that's why they come up there and they see like oh my god they know they can get out there I don't know 
Oh, man. Gabby just said the right thing. Storm gets mad if he gets wet and uncomfortable, and then that's he beats why them up. I'm in the field with the shelter when it's raining. And that's what happened. But it's bare, like it is wet out here, but it, we already decided we were going to put them in for the night because they've been out in the rain today. Like, who knew we'd buy horses that can't stay out in the rain? Okay. Yeah. Did Finny get cleaned up? No. No, not yet. Gabby's doing it right now. Gabby's going to do it? You need water and, uh... No, she didn't cry. I was shaking. We were shaking. That's what I did. I was just her. running all over the place. Mostly when I get scared, I shake. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's time to let you guys out. It rained, I know. It is cold and windy today. You guys would be shocked. Four eggs in the coop. Two, three, four. Anyway, good morning guys, welcome to today. Today's Monday, but it is a holiday in Canada. A holiday in Canada, but not for our horses. They are grounded. Wow, 70 degrees right on the money, almost 68. My hands are almost chilly this morning. So, how did you enjoy your fun and games yesterday? Now you have to wait for the farrier to come before we can call the vet. Versa seems super calm. Finny looks, I don't know. Finny looks calm. Finny's been calm for so long. Should have put Chino's Jolly Ball up for him last night. Maybe we'll do that today. Because you're stuck in the stalls every night for the rest of your life. But to you, sometimes Storm legs swell up if he's stuck in a stall. Yeah, because you're a bad boy, leader of the crowd. See, that's the problem. When you're the leader, you get the most blame. He's like, yeah, I dare you to blame me. You are a brat. They're on their way. But yeah, it's cool, it's cold. It's exciting, and yet probably all our horses are lame. Like, that's the thing. Like, horses are these big, huge animals. And in my experience, like, they run for five minutes outside somewhere, and then they're always lame. Like, I don't know. I was so frustrated last night after what happened. I decided, like, I can't get a gypsy until we move. We need better fencing, and I'm not putting new fencing in this place and because we're going to move so soon. And I know it would, like, make our house more valuable blah 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 but I'm just not doing that I have other things that I need to spend my money on even though safety is important so that is why we're gonna fix things up today in this area the kind of fencing that we have is so common like that's what people use also in this area like I don't think you are I don't think you can be a horse owner without I don't know every single person I know that has horses has had horses get out like at Fiona's place when we were there long, long ago, I saw them get out three times. Horses get out three times. It's just the fact that we're close to a road that's still super scary. All right, Sophie, in your prophetic dreams, what did you dream? Nothing. Oh, thank the Lord. I'm all for nothing dreams. Well, we went shopping with the horses. Did we? Yeah. That'd be fun. Gabby was driving. Oh, that's not she fun. She dropped you off at a store. What? She dropped you off at a store. What? Oh, so it's probably when she's older. What, uh... What Storm, What horses did we take? Um, I know we brought Finn, Storm, and Chino. And we took all of them shopping? Yeah. In real stores. Real like stores? Dollar store. Oh, you never know. That could happen in a future video. Gabby is on the way. Last one to arrive. Molly's already here. We're all here. We all have to be here now because it's a lot harder to take the horses out of the stalls, put them in a field, than it is to than it is to just change their fields. But yeah. I so, Sophie says that she hardly slept last night because she was worried that Stim Finn's door wasn't locked. So Sam's going to change things up today. We're gonna build another electric fence and it's gonna block the horses off from getting to the road. So basically somewhere like along here, it's gonna be blocked off from now on. And then we'll block off the entrance over there too. So if they ever get out of there, they won't book it. Like the horse is new. Like they they were excited to get the heck out of our property. Yesterday I was bragging, our horses love us so much that they'll do anything we ask out in the middle of like a lake with all the people. And then the next day they're like, I'm getting out of this house. Yeah, like craziness. A lot of people were mad that I said that Skittles was an ugly horse. 
I want a traditional gypsy. He really likes Skittles. That's what I mean. I don't mean like she's ugly. I mean, she was not the most beautiful horse, but I couldn't care less if the horse that I get is completely beautiful. I mean, I right now I'm window shopping. I'm choosing. I want to have the horse of my dreams. If it doesn't happen, I get like a horse that I'm not attracted to. I'm gonna love it just the same. Well, like, what if they're like people take me too personally? The what? Mare. What? But what if the horse you don't like the most is like the best? The if the most. ugliest horse in the world is the best fit for me, then that's the horse I would get. I, just, I already have crazy ponies, so I can ride it. Yeah, your crazy pony is not crazy anymore. Let's see how this guy's moving. Oh, Gabby sprayed down his foot last night. He knows limping down there because he's only got one shoe. I feel like God's trying to tell us, like, it's not Chino's time right now to shine. And that's okay. We all have time where we're meant to shine and time when we're meant to watch other people shine. And there's nothing wrong with that. Some people are worried we're going to get sell Chino now because he's not perfect and he doesn't fit right now. He's just lame all summer, but no, we're not like that. Oh, a book. Chino is our horse. He's our horse, just like Gabby is my daughter and she's not perfect all the time. And Sophie is my daughter. Like, you don't just get rid of people that you love or animals that you love because they're going through a rough time. And so we are just going to persevere and keep on going. And those horses better stay in that field. Oh, man. But... Honestly, Sam's gonna fix it this morning before anything else could happen. I don't know if I, I don't know if I said, but the man driving up the road, like this is how fast it happened. Man driving up the road saw one of our bay horses biting the other horse's bums, and they broke through because they were all standing around the gate waiting for supper. When they're standing around the gate, there was no room for them to go, so they just, I think Finn probably just fell into the fence, which just looks like he fell, slid, skid, because also the rain and the wet ground didn't help, and then. And then by the time he got to our driveway, they were already going up and he pulled his car right into our driveway to block the driveway so that they couldn't go out there. And they just jumped the, the ditch, jumped the ditch to get up the road. Like, that's how determined they were to go. So, yeah, like that's how fast it happened and that's how, like that's how it all went down, you guys. I'm sure we'll get some mean comments, but that's okay. It's, a, it's the nature of the business. Sometimes people, when they're trying to process stuff or deal with stuff, they find fault. It's, if they choose to find fault instead of look for a solution. Did you find his shoe? No. So he must have lost it in that field, I betcha. We could go look again later if you want. Or did it? You wouldn't be able to find it. Why? What's wrong with Finn? Or in the ditch? But it isn't in there. What? He left the shoe in the ditch. You think he lost it in the ditch? Yeah, because they went through the ditch. Yeah, they went through the ditch because there's a car there. Let's look there. Oh. He lost belly. Look at how happy he is now. Like, he's so much friendlier than when we first got him. Isn't that weird? He still doesn't like to be caught, but when I catch him, he starts purring. Yeah, who wants to be caught? Even our, can you tell, tell our horses didn't want to be caught? Okay. They want to run free. They want to be free. What about you? You've always been a little sweet Mom, baby. I think I know where the horses wanted to go. They wanted to go to greener pastures. To a new field where they're never going to get to go again. <laughs> yeah, they aren't. <laughs> so can we, aren't we allowed to ride on it though? Yeah, no. he said, they said we could ride on it. Good thing, because our horses like decided to do that. Our horses. But he didn't say we could drive on it. Yeah, he didn't say we could drive on it, but well, you know. We he... just ruined our hay field. Oh well. Imagine they cut the next thing of hay this fall oh, and shoe. there's a shoe in there. Oh. Imagine the cows who are eating the eating the hay and they're like, wait, there's a horseshoe in here. So one time when we were at Fiona's old barn and the horses got out, like horses just get out. Like we were there a couple of times when they got out. They were far from the road though. Yeah, so there was a field next to them that was back behind a road too. So like they were all tucked into this little oasis. But anyways, same thing. The horses got out and they knew where they were going. They all ran to go in this other field, went through this gate that was open, and then they just like ran in circles 
for like 20 minutes just kept going and going and going. We just had to stand there and pray. They didn't go out, like find a way out into the road. Oh no, Fiona was by herself. Oh, Fiona was by herself a few times, but the one time, one of the times when I was there, they just ran and ran and ran and then we got grain and we shook the bucket and then they finally came back. But it must be like in their nature to want to escape. It must be innate. Innate means like in them, born in them. Like breathing is born in you. Well, some horses are wild. They can just run everything. Yeah. See what I mean now by how everything is already planned? Two days before the horses escaped, Sophie dreamed that Chino was going to be more lame than ever because he lost a shoe. Two days later, they escaped. Chino lost a shoe. Like, things are planned. God has a plan. Like, no matter how much you worry about where you are in life right now, and no matter how much you worry about your future and that job that you really, really want that you didn't get, or that boy that you really, really want but you didn't get, don't worry because it's already planned for you. God already has the perfect job and the perfect man and the perfect life all lined up for you. You just have to relax, go out there, keep searching, and it will come to you. Just like my horse. I actually like Jack the best out of all the horses. What do you think of that? And if we get a chance to move soon, which I hope by Christmas that we'll move. I'll get him, or I will get a horse, whatever horse is still available. But I definitely don't want to bring another horse to this house. I think that's what God was trying to tell me last night. Like, I don't want to be near the road. That's my big thing. I don't want our horses, like, even when horses get out, it's not that scary. When horses get out on the middle of a highway, it's scary. <laughs> Hey. Oh, Sophie's like, I need gloves. They are cute. Noble gloves. Really cute. Noble gloves. I what like are they? Ones. Roping gloves? Uh -huh, but they're noble. Oh, noble. Remember, I can't hear. A lot of gloves. I like these ones. I like those ones too. Those are my favorite. And these ones. Those ones are cute. Anyways, we are at. TSC because when you have to build more fencing you have to come and buy all the stuff. <laughs> Molly is like legit loving life you guys. No matter what we throw at her now she's like such a well-adjusted puppy. I shouldn't say that because last time I bragged about our horses catastrophe happened. That is a mirror. But I'm really proud of how she is. I'm like so proud of how she's doing. Following the arrows. Oh my gosh, I want that. Me too. Oh, I, we could buy a big cushion. I don't, yeah, I don't like that one. I don't like a oh, like rope one. one, but I want a nice one. Oh, you guys I found the toys. Gabby's yeah. into guns now, you guys. Say goodbye to the toy ponies and the horses. Gabby is a gun girl. Mom. Sophie's still, we have one of those. <laughs> but yeah, they have some good Schleich stuff now. Oh, it's super cute. Wait, I want this for Oh, a bunch of like. I don't know. I already have the chicken. <laughs> Got the coop. chicken coop. Mom, you're buying me this. Hey, hey. I I want hey, these hey, ones. Hey. I need they these. They updated ones. the chicken coop. Oh, how dare they? They put baby chicks in a nest. Oh, that's Before they so never cute. used to have that. Yeah, before they didn't Mom, you're ever used to have this. that. Look, maybe for Christmas, put it on your Christmas list. I'm showing dad. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. He looks just like Finny. I have this one and this one. Uh, so then they also have the farm okay. world stuff. They have the dog. Still we have that. Too. They have this where there's a hidden hole. Wow, okay. they have so much stuff. So Could you imagine Gabby as a ukulele player? Oh, that's a guitar. That's a I want us guitar. to take music. For homeschool. They have chairs just like our blue ones. Our blue chairs are the most comfortable chairs on earth. I like it. All right, so they still really don't have too much chicken stuff. They must not be getting more. I'm excited to pick a color for my new horse when my new horse comes, when I get a new horse. I'm excited to pick a color. You know what color I want? All right, it's already decided. Boy or girl, I'm getting pink. Look at this, no chew protects wood and non-metal surfaces. So horses won't chew it. Good boy, still in the field. All right, it is hours later guys, and Sam and I have decided to do an experiment. 
Call us crazy, but we're gonna try something. Okay, so Sam has spent this whole entire day fixing the fence. Winnie. What do you? A horse whinnied. A horse whinnied? Not so, one of our horses. Not one of our There's horses? There's two horses over there. Oh, okay, so. So we're gonna let them out. This is our new dumping spot because look at how cute it's all fenced in. Like, and Molly holy dropped. cow, look at all the butterflies. Wow, butterflies. Can you guys see them? It's Butterfly Central. Um, so we're gonna let them out. They're just gonna go gallop around the whole thing. Oh gosh, this is nerve wracking. Okay, so. You know that saying how like sometimes something really bad has to happen before you learn lessons that will like make things better well today we're gonna have to we ended up down. having to fence in all this area so that if our horses okay, get Dad free awesome then like they're still safe sam Wait, did that we're not letting them out here so instead of fencing in that little area at the back like we were gonna do they're now able to run over the whole back half which seems kind of nerve-wracking. I they don't get a piece of glass in their foot. There's glass? Well, or like plastic. But, um, we're only, like, I don't feel secure enough. To leave them out here. So, open. yeah, we're only going to do this Mom, when we're home. Can you leave this one open so they can get the water? Yeah, and leave this one open. Both of them open, and then they can just slit. If they're running full speed, then they can go. I mean, we can even move that water over here and just leave it out. Right now, we're gonna do the big reveal, you guys. We're gonna let, I know. We're gonna let them free. So when they're free, they're gonna be able to run all over here, eat all the grass, go all over. <laughs> this is terrifying. Terrifying, but worth it. We need to grab the halters first. So yeah, okay. let's halt it. Why don't we just open it and let them run? That'd be more video worthy. Storm saying yes. Open it and let them run. The farrier is coming to take care of Chino. Oh, good golly. Hi. Oh yeah, now you don't want to come out. Interesting, now you go where you're supposed to go. Interesting, this is not what happened last night. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. They got shocked and then they took off. Yeah, they got shocked. Or at least only one got shocked. Kid. You can tell that Finn's the one that got pushed. Over. Yeah, we all know Finn got pushed. He was all covered in mud, and he has a cut. He has his cut. Fine. <laughs> yeah, but he lost a shoe. She's proud of Chino. He looks thinner. Oh, I can still see him. I can see all their ribs. Maybe a little bit of rib is fine. Yeah, a little bit of rib is good. But this is what I expected to happen. Don't so basically, Sam put fence all along there, all along, everywhere. So uh, they'll be able to come out here. And this will have to be there when we're at home pasture, when we can keep an eye on them. So let's, that's nice and shady over here. So there's a fence there. Molly, come here. Oh, Molly has escaped. Oh, here they come. You bad girl. Molly! Molly! So Sam uh, electrified all this. There's like a really bad hole over here somewhere. Now they don't want to run. <laughs> now they don't want to run. They know. They probably well, stood in there watching Sam build that fence and they're like, oh, we're not getting free. <laughs> Crazy horses. <laughs> The girls and I are taking a walk around to make sure that everything's safe. There's a lot of holes though. Only on the A lot of holes. The real crazy thing is that boy can the boys can meet up with the girls now because their fields connect. <laughs>
Don't you know that you're beautiful? 